Hello and welcome to another .com Monitor training video. Today, we're going to cover alerts configuration with devices. Devices are groupings of tasks and configuration options for a given platform. In the first part of today's video, we're going to delve into creating configuration options that we'll then use in the second part of the video to create a device. Let's begin with a rapid tour of groups. Groups help you manage a list of people that can be contacted when your monitoring device is reporting errors. From the group list screen, we can choose to add a new notification group. And once we've named it, we can add as many contacts into that list as we need. Now let's take a rapid tour of templates. Templates allow you to control the look, feel, and content of your alert messages. For example, you could have your technical users' messages have links to network trace routes or even snapshots of the download that caused the alert. Schedules help you manage who gets contacted when. Now let's begin a rapid tour of creating one. Here we see the list of schedules. As with other configuration options, it all begins with a list. And then we'll add a new one and give it a name. And then, of course, set the appropriate weekly and hourly schedule. So what this allows you to do is have a group on or off call at given times. When monitoring alerts happen during the off times, you can set up a second schedule group that can cover that block of time and so forth. So that you can divide up your week in as many different ways as works for your business. Here we see we've kept up our example theme of alerting on weekends by blocking out Monday through Friday and only enabling alerts on Saturdays and Sundays. And we wrap up our configuration options section of this presentation with a rapid tour of filters. Filters allow you to control when monitoring events are actually allowed through. In this case, we're making sure that the error is being continuously reported for more than two minutes and from more than two locations. Now let's create a new monitoring device with the configuration options we've set up. From the Devices screen, we click Add New Monitoring Device. And now we see a list of all the types of devices we can create under the different platforms that .com Monitor offers. We'll choose a non-secure HTTP website for this example. First, we give our monitoring device a name and we can set a frequency. Notice the question marks that are next to many of the field names on the form. You can get a detailed definition of that field. Next, we select a schedule. And we could choose to leave it at the default, which is all the time, but here we select the one we created earlier in the video. And now we select the locations we would like this device to be tested from. And next we can opt into Summary Reports. At a daily, weekly, or monthly level, we can enter email addresses here directly, or we can choose a notification group that we've already set up. And next, we'll move on to notification options, which this allows us to select a filter to control what does get counted as an alert appropriate event. And then we can fine tune with detail emails and pagers, etc. And or we could opt into the groups that we've already set up to receive alerts. Then in the advanced options section, we can choose to opt into uptime alerts. So we're notified when the given device is detected as back online. And then we can further modify how often we are emailed. So we aren't inundated uh, more than we choose to be as far as when we start receiving alerts for a given device. 
This allows us to configure alerts to not be sent out more often than we'd like. And this brings us to our final step for creating a device, which is actually creating the detailed task within that device. Devices can actually have many tasks. Today we're just going to create this simple HTTP task. And we'll give it a name and then a maximum connection timeout, which will cause an error if it goes greater than 15 seconds. It's a standard HTTP GET for the URL that we're going to enter in here. And when that URL is fetched from .com Monitor, it will be looking for a keyword. And when we use keywords, we can look for the presence or absence or any combination thereof of various keywords. And this is the keyword help. But today we're just going to look for the keyword of trust. So if that's present, our test, our test is successful. And if it is not, then that will cause an error. Once we save it, we're all set. We can choose to test this new device, or we can just return to the devices list. Configuration options such as groups, templates, schedules, and filters allow us to respond to the right error conditions and send those alerts to the right people at the right times. And those are all brought together inside monitoring devices. Thank you for watching this .com monitor training video.